Yeah, I mean, the good thing is that the student section's been so good. I was, we were a little concerned uh, not hitting that 70 point mark for them to get some, some raising canes. So tonight, that's a good thing that, that the students get rewarded a little bit for coming out. And we finally put some points on the board to, uh, to get them some free meals. Tonight. Happy birthday. Uh, Thank you, Bob. Uh, what's it like? I, was, I was wondering if you were going to. Well, what's it like getting one on your birthday? And I, I guess the, the ref thought you needed a technical. Uh, what did what, you say on the technical, and did, did you think it was deserved? How did I know you were going to give a controversial question? <laughs> um, I, I didn't think. I mean, I've said a lot worse, but it is what it is, and, uh, you know. They got two free throws. How about, how about getting, getting a win on your birthday? Is, is that a good birthday? Yeah, I mean, my wife walking out the door said, don't let them score more than 55. Or if they do, don't come home. So um, granted, we kept them under 55. Isaiah just kind of bounced back from, from deep. Yeah, I mean, that first half, we were just so bad shooting the three ball. It was like there was a lid on the basket. and. Uh, obviously, you know, he's the only one that hit one for, for us tonight, but it opened up the floor for everybody else. I thought Jimmy Witt's mid, mid-range game was phenomenal, and, and uh, you know, our point guards got 15 rebounds between them, which is, which is huge for us uh, at that point guard position for, for, for those two guys to combine for 15 boards and Jimmy get a double-double. And um, so, I th you know, I thought we, we took care of business these first four games, and and, um, you know, we're playing a really good South Dakota team that's undefeated, and they've won three games on neutral site in Hawaii. Um, actually, the Hawaii game was a, was, a, was a true road win for them. And, um, you know, they're the number one three-point shooting team in the nation right now. So we're going to have to really defend and, and come up with some type of game plan that's a little bit different defensively than what we've done uh, these first few games. Jimmy Witt's double-double. It seems like with the slow shooting starts, he's getting to the basket and kind of getting you guys off. He's been doing that this year so far. Can you talk a little bit about that and how important that's been? Yeah, it's really important, Kevin, just because we don't like we don't, we don't really run plays for Jimmy. You know, I mean, we'll run some post-up plays two or three a game, but he's just kind of backing his man down and kind of elevating and shooting over the guy at that 8 to 12, 13-foot range. And um, we need him to score easy baskets for us because he shoots such a high percentage. So... Um, and especially when we're not making threes, we need some mid-range stuff. And then he's able to get draw a little bit more traffic uh, with the defense, and he made some nice dump-off passes as well tonight. Yeah, what did you think of Reggie Cheney's debut? And he seemed like he you know, gave you different things in different areas. Yeah, I thought Reggie was really good. You know, we were a little worried about his wind um, just because we don't go up and down live much uh, with, with the way that we do preparation for games. We, d we stick to basically half court stuff and, um, you know, not playing for three games. We needed to make sure that he got, you know, kind of get some rust off. So I, I thought he gave us good minutes tonight. He protected the pain. He rolled hard to the rim. Um, you know, and I think he'll just get more and more comfortable with our system, you know, the more minutes that he gets with each g game that goes by. Kind of a rough shooting first half after having a rough game, but then he really got going in the second. What do you think got him going in the second half, or was it just you know the eyes where he was going to get going? Yeah, I mean we just we wanted our guys to keep shooting. I mean we talked to him at halftime that you know we're never going to tell guys not to take open shots. Uh, that's not how we operate, and and when you catch it, let it fly. And I mean we just you know at halftime just kept harping on things like defensive rebounding and and continuing to defend, and we talked about some defensive coverages that were blown in the first half. And from a shooting standpoint, you know, we don't want to get in their heads. We, we, we want them to play with some freedom. And, and um, you know, I think our guys do have a lot of freedom offensively. Um, you guys outscored 28 to 6 on points off turnovers. What did you think was the, the key to that? I just think, you know, having our hands active, uh, not having our hands down, uh, jabbing at the ball, uh, anticipating, uh, trying to trying to beat the offense to its spots, is is a big key. Um, you know, when your man picks the ball up, trying to smother it a little bit. And I, I thought we uh, had some really good anticipations. And then when teams try to throw the ball into the paint, 
we do a great job of swarming and digging the ball out before a big can, can try to kick it out. So uh, sometimes some of our best defense thus far is when the ball goes into the paint and we just swarm and, and get picks from different angles uh, on the weak side when it goes in there and they have a mismatch from a height standpoint. I know you said you know, all along he's going to be a good rebounder. Garvey had 10 boards tonight. What did you think of his rebounding? thought he was awesome. You know, and, and, and even J5 to have five defensive rebounds and, and Jimmy with his eight. Um, we, we, you know, every game we have like we got out rebound three of the five or four of the five spots on the floor. And I've said it before, it might not be the center spot. We, we might have to out rebound him at the one spot and the two spot and the three spot. Um, just because of lack of size, and, and uh, obviously our point, point guards were, were phenomenal on the defensive glass. As long as the fans sang happy birthday, did, did you like that? Did the guys in the locker room sing happy birthday? Did you get a cake or anything? Or? I had some cupcakes, and yes, the guys did sing. I did not dance like Clay Mosier. You've got to know your strengths and weaknesses. relationship with Johnny Jones you know just talk about you know coaching against him had you ever faced him in a game before no um you know coach Jones is a, a mentor a family friend um I'm glad the game's over uh, two of the guys that were on Nevada staff besides coach Jones are with him so um you know hopefully we'll be able to exchange you know some ideas and thoughts on each other's basketball team tomorrow um Friday same thing Todd Lee and I have been friends for over 20 years, um, and, he, and he and I worked together. So, um, you know, be happy to get these two games over playing against friends. But Johnny's a great coach and a great guy. So since talking a little bit about Jimmy Witt, I was wondering your take on his kind of unconventional shot. Yeah, it's pretty unconventional. Um, I'm, I'm not a shooting coach for Jimmy. Um, but it goes in. He, he, he's a great mid-range shooter. And the thing is, he really knows who he is, and, and, and he's got great maturity about his game. Um, he doesn't try to force the issue. He doesn't try to sh take shots that are out of his, you know, his, his area to shoot. And, um, you know, I think he's doing a great job for us. I really do. He's running the team. He's mixing in, you know, distributing the ball with trying to score. He's picking and choosing when, when the right time for him to try to break a play and get to the basket or – uh, get into his mid-range shot. He's he's uh, you know he's been phenomenal for us. Joe had five steals. Did you see him defensively both halves doing what you wanted him to do? Yeah, it was interesting at halftime. I you know I told some of the coaches that you know everyone talks about Isaiah's offense, but in reality, like his man hardly ever scores, uh, hardly ever in these you know in the four games that I've been a part of. Of Coach and Isaiah, and and uh, and he's got great anticipation. Mason's got great anticipation. J Five's got really good quickness. So, I mean, kind of a calling card for us is going to have to be disruption defensively. And there's there are times like tonight. I thought we got a little bit undisciplined and gambled a few times, uh, got out of position and gave them a couple easy baskets. But sometimes you have to live with with defensive aggression, and and that's going to lead to a few breakdowns every now and then. Hey, I think some guy in South Dakota, some big kid, has got like 15 or 18 or six. Yeah, it was eight, eight of eight in the game from three. Yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you think about how tough a matchup is a big guy who shoots like that from outside? The, I mean, the, the problem with, with South Dakota is not just the big. Um, they all can shoot. they got like five guys that are really, really good shooters. Um, but we'll, 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 we'll get together, we'll watch some film and uh, – you know, when we played South Dakota State a few years ago and had to play Mike Dom, um, who was a really good 6'10 shooter, um, you know, we'll, we'll put together a game plan and try to take them off the three-point line as best we can. Coach, you want to comment on Dante Yeah, uh, couldn't be more excited um, about Devo Davis signing uh, with us. It's, it's, it's awesome. Uh, two feet in, he's excited. Um, you know, just to, every time I call him, he's like so excited to be part of the Razorback family, and and his grandmother and and grandfather are are so happy for him, and and uh, you know to get a player in state uh, that's that excited and that passionate, um, it's really cool. I mean, you call him, he picks up every time. You text him, he texts back in two seconds. Um, you know, as as a group or a staff, we just love his his enthusiasm for for uh, not just 
Arkansas basketball, but for this for this university and to be part of of the Razorback family. Yeah, I mean, Devontae is just, you know, he's, uh, he's crafty, he's shifty, he changes gears really fat, really quick. Uh, he's got a change of pace to his game. He's got really good court vision. Uh, we want him to continue to improve as a perimeter shooter. He's got great toughness. But when you talk to other kids, they like really like playing with him. And that's a big key is that uh, a big, long guard who can play multiple positions in the backcourt for you.